Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Sorry for the delay. I had some technical difficulties. Can you guys hear me? We'll just give it a couple of minutes, see if anybody hops on. You can just let me know that you're here and you can hear me. That would be great. Okay, well, let's get started. We have, we're gonna make um, a painting the ocean scene this morning. Can't hear me? Is that better? Can you hear me now? Sorry guys, having some technical difficulties this morning. My volume's all the way up. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I'm gonna get started. We have um, just our container that we're gonna be working with. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put some shaving cream inside there. So you're just gonna pour the shaving cream right inside here. Give it a good squirt. inside your container until so it kind of spills up just like this. Give it a little bit more of a shake. Sometimes the shaving cream gets stuck in the can. So much fun this shaving cream is. Awesome. So when you have enough shaving cream, so it looks like this, I'm gonna pour it like that. Okay, so then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add some blue paint. We're gonna paint the ocean this morning, guys. We're gonna add some blue paint to this. So give it a good shake and just drizzle some blue paint in here. Just like this. And then if you have a spoon, or anything that you can stir with. I'm not sure if I put that in the materials together, but go ahead and grab a spoon quickly and give it a good scur. So the blue paint is getting mixed right inside there. Just like that. So it looks like the ocean. Good morning, kiddos. I'm hoping you guys can hear me just like the ocean. Perfect. All right. Once you think that it is mixed to the color that you want, to the color blue you want, so pretty. Reminds me of summertime. Once you get that all mixed in there, then you take your paper. And you put your piece of paper right on the top of that shaving cream, just like this, and press it down right into there. Until you get it all over there. And what it does is it kind of makes waves on the paper. looks like this. You can put it back in there and get some more on there if you don't think there's enough waves in your ocean. There we go. There's enough waves in my ocean now. Isn't that beautiful? 
So then you want to put your fish in. Make your fish swim in that ocean. I cut out some fish, some goldfish, some orange fish, puffer, fi puffer fish. Just make your fish swim in that ocean. Look at this. It's awesome. Fish are swimming in that ocean. Super cool. And then when it dries, it will dry the color of the ocean and it will be kind of wavy. It'll be kind of swirly. So just set it aside and go back in a couple of hours and take a look at it and see if it's, it's dry. It should be dry. It doesn't take too long to dry. So then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some red paint, kiddos. If we add red paint to this blue, hmm, what color do you think it might make? Let's see, let's drizzle some red paint in here. Whoa. Give it a little stir with your spoon, whatever you have. Give it a little stir. Can you see the different color we have here that's making? What color is it making? Can you comment in the bottom? Can you comment and let me know what color you think it's making? That's right, it's making purple. Red and blue make purple. Beautiful purple. Now here is the fun part. Not that the art wasn't fun, but this is my favorite part. This is when you get to play in it. This is when you get to stick your hands in it. And mix it with your hands. So now I'm going to push my sleeves up. Look at this. Stick your hands right in and you can play with it. And get all that sensory there going. Get all that sensory there. Mix it up. Mix it until all the paint is mixed together. And that's a pretty, pretty purple. You can stick both hands in there. If you have extra paper, you can finger paint on the paper. Just like that. So pretty. So take some time and explore with this. If you want, you can put it in the refrigerator and make it cold and go back to it later. And it has a totally different feeling when the shaving cream is cold. Totally different. Just mix it up and have fun with it. You can add some toys to this. You can add some Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks are those candies if you put it in your mouth and um, they pop. If you add Pop Rocks to this, it gives a whole other feeling to it too. Um, you can add sprinkles from ice cream, anything you can add to shaving cream to just give it a give it different texture and a different feel. So guys, I hope that you were able to hear me and I hope that you enjoyed our first live um, class. It's all a learning curve for us. We've never done anything live on Facebook before, so I'm hoping it all went well. Please take pictures. Um, I'd love to see your kiddos doing their artwork and playing in the sensory bit, playing in the sensory shaving cream. Um, we have a couple of other Facebook live events happening. Tomorrow we're going to do princess um, bracelets and wands. And then next week we're going to make some Play-Doh in a flower garden. And we're going to do some Superman hero, um, Superman um, art. So thank you for much, so much for joining me this morning. I hope it all went well for you guys. Enjoy the sensory play. Go swimming with your fish. Stay safe. And our thoughts and prayers are with everybody. Thanks again for joining us. Take care. Bye-bye.